Hi, I'm Battle Creed, and today I'm gonna make a tutorial video on how to use your PlayStation controller with your Android device. Now, do note that some Android devices don't work. So, what you need is a PlayStation controller <coughs> and, of course, your Android device. Now, uh, you don't have to uh, root your uh, your Android device to use your PlayStation controller on it. Now, what you need is an OTG cable. If you don't know what's an OTG cable, here is how it looks like. So, it's basically uh, two uh, micro USBs at the end. Two micro USBs. To uh, connect your PlayStation controller and your Android device. Now, I highly recommend you to get one of these. What it does basically it clips on to your PlayStation controller like that, and then you can put your phone or um, Android device. But not all Android devices work because uh, you know this thing comes in sizes and it only works with small devices alright so I have my Galaxy A8 right here Samsung Galaxy A8 and what you wanna do alright you don't need this to uh, make it work you know so it just makes it feel easier to um, play with with your PlayStation 4 controller and your Android device. Now what you do what you want to do is connect the OTG cable with the PlayStation 4 controller and just simply connect your Android device to the OTG cable. All right. There we have it. Hold on. Let me uh Adjust, uh, sorry, let me adjust this uh, thing for you guys. Alright, so here we go. Alright, once you've connected, um, you should be able to um, just press any button, any arrow button, and there you'll see some blue box there. That's your uh, cursor. So, okay, so it works it works perfectly now um, if you wanna select just simply press the square button alright so hold on alright now to test if this thing really works I have GTA 5 here with me Alright, now um, I'm not gonna cut this clip because because uh, I wanna know I, I wanna let you guys know that um, this isn't a video. It it works perfectly fine. I'm I'm not scamming you guys or anything. Look, alright. Now this is a touch, right? Now it will turn to uh, gamepad mode. Alright, start. Little game, see, it works per perfectly fine. Uh, I'm sorry if I jumble up my words a lot. You know how it works. If you're nervous, then, well, you jumble up your words. Do note that some games work with this thing. Um, so basically, this is the cheapest way to use <coughs> without like spending a lot of money and get a new gamepad just to play with your Android device you can simply just use your PlayStation 4 controller if you have it sometimes your PlayStation 3 controller works too alright so um, triangle is jump X is punch. Let's um, go to my helicopter. 
going right here. Alright, so L1 is to get into vehicle. Alright, um, R2 is to shoot. Okay. There, it works perfectly fine. Alright, so uh, one of you guys asked if Nova Tree works with uh, the PlayStation 4 controller. Okay, so uh, on to the next game. One of you guys asked if Nova Tree works with the PlayStation 4 controller. So let's test out the tri t uh, theory. Dang, it works. Uh, no, 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 no. Hmm. Sadly, no, I'm sorry, it doesn't work. Oh, wait. All you can do is just press the L3 button and it pauses the game. Like I said just now, some games work, some games doesn't. Like, I have another example. Minecraft. It works, but the controls are just pure rubbish. Jump, it's, it's just jumble up, okay? It's just jumble up. Okay, so... Square to jump. Double tap square to fly, and then hold square to go up. Um, touch, press the touchpad, the uh, switch through views. L one to go to your inventory, I guess. Okay, L2 and R2 to switch to items. How do you put down your item? How do you do that? Hmm. Okay, so uh, L3 to chat. Alright, so yeah, like I said, it partially works. It kinda works. So uh, if you guys have any other questions, please just, just comment down below and I will try my best to answer them. Alright. Um, okay, so the last thing is, this is your so-called cheapest way to eat... Uh, to play with your uh, gamepad on your Android devices without having to uh, buy and spend shit ton of money for a new gamepad you just ju uh, you just buy this uh, OTG cable like I don't know I bought this for seven Singapore dollars it's yeah it's, yeah, it's really worth it. So, uh, yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. Seven SGD dollars. And this clipper is like around, I don't know, 10 SGD dollars? 12 SGD dollars? I don't know. I can't remember. But, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Share this video.